class number three, two new techniques working on step round kick, which we introduced in part through the step and the round kick. But now we're going to concentrate on the technique in class number three, and then the basic potachuggy, or counter round kick, which is really, in the most basic version, a combination of sliding backwards and kicking. Now, we teach this a lot of different ways, but again, like everything else we do, we start with a basic step. So our athlete's in a basic fighting stance. Hey! He's going to step in, step in. Now, again, it's just very basic. We get him to move backwards. Now we're going to step in and round kick. And back up. Now, as I'm teaching this, again, I'm focusing on this. I'm helping him by saying, bring your knees closely together as you step. Turn your body so that it looks like you've just done a step. And then the same idea on the round kick, turning that body close, pulling that arm down, and round kicking. As I'm speaking to the athlete, I'm reminding him it's not step round kick, it's step round kick. But we still want to get a decent shoulder turn on it. Otherwise, it just looks like a fast kick. So slowly we go step round kick. Good. And then we get him to smooth it out a little bit. He goes, step round kick. Hey! Good. Now we want him to be explosive. We bring him back a little bit. Now we're going to get him to bounce a little bit. And when I say go, I want him to explode. But step round kick, come down, and then back, back. Hey! Hey! Very nice. Nice energy, nice execution. The arm was pulled down. Everything was done properly. Hey! Hey! I have them switch their feet. Hey! Slowly step. Body, shoulder turns, and round kicks. One more time. Again, he's concentrating, keeping his head down. Everything's going in. Go! Hey! Now we get him to bounce. We build up the intensity. Go! Hey! Nice energy, nice kick. One more time. Go! Hey! Okay. Now we're going to move on to our next technique, which we'll focus on, which is called pata chuggy. Technique number two that we'll focus on in this class, pata chuggy, or counter round kick. There are many different ways to do counter round kick. And most of them have to do with the way that you move your foot and how the foot moves that's on the floor. In other words, the foot that's going to kick, when it leaves, how it leaves, and where it is in relation to the front leg. For this one, though, we're going to work just on this idea of a decent step backwards and then a decent kick forwards. Most people say this is actually the hardest one out of all of the three different types. With this one, we're going to have the athlete facing, fight a nice fighting stance. Again, he's going to have to feel the energy in the front leg. He really needs to have this loaded. He's going to push off of this. Now, the way that I like to teach this is I like the athlete to think about, I tell them to focus on a spot. I want them to focus on a spot and literally lift this foot and attempt to step on that spot. So he's going to step on that spot backwards. And as soon as that foot touches, step forward. This is going to give him the motion that we're looking for. This gives him the basic motion that we're looking for in order to execute the kick. So he's going to step backwards, step forward. He's going to have to keep that weight a little bit forward. He doesn't want to rock backwards. So as you're watching the athlete, you focus on this leg, the way that this foot pushes, the way that this foot lifts. So we don't want it to lift so high. We want it just as if I were trying to reach a spot back here and at the same time pushing back and going. Ah! And step. Very nice. Once we're comfortable, they have this motion. Then we move on to skip backwards and round kick. Skip backwards and round kick. Oh, yeah. Very nice. He's going to stay there. Now we're going to do it again. Skip backwards and round kick. Hey! Very nice. Now we have him practice it on this side. He's going to skip backwards and round kick. Hey! Now we're going to pick up the pace between the time that he pushes backwards and he round kicks. So we're going to have him go skip backwards and round kick. This is truly what happens when you fight. You want to move back quicker than the attack is coming so that your foot can touch the floor and then rebound off the floor to hit the target. Oh! Hey! Nice. Oh! Hey! Comfortable here, we start to bounce. Oh! Hey! Oh! Hey! Now you can practice it exactly like this in your class. Have them move in one space. There's no need for them to travel. They do both sides. So we have step, round kick, pata chuggy. Okay, we're going to move right to targets now. This is our next series of drills to refine these techniques. We're going to put them into combinations. So we have round kick, step, round kick. Round kick, step, round kick. It's a basic attacking technique. It builds the foundation for a technique that we'll do in the later tapes, which is round kick into double kick. 
but this is a very, very basic technique, but it covers a lot of distance, and I've scored a lot of points with it. We're going to practice it on targets. So one athlete's going to hold the target. The other athlete's going to go slowly first. He's going to go round kick, hey. step round kick. Hey. Good. And you'll notice that the athlete that's holding the target is watching. He's concentrating. He's going to help him with his technique if he sees a mistake. But more importantly, he's building an understanding of what the technique looks as it's coming back. He skips backwards. Round kick. Hey. Step round kick. Hey. And the good thing about this technique is you can actually, right from that position, he would switch his feet and he can do the other side. So this would be practiced in concurrence. One side, then the other side. Let's bring it back and try it one more time. So now we're going to bring up the speed on this. It's going to be round kick, come down. He's got a little bit of a follow foot, letting that bottom foot travel into round kick. Oh! Hey! Hey! Very nice. Here we go one more time. Oh! Hey! Hey! Good. Very nice, good energy. Now we're going to flip it. So we're going to go step, round kick, round kick. This actually changes it, so it'll be two different targets. It's going to be step, round kick, into round kick. One more time. So we start with step, round kick. Hey! Follows with a second round. Hey! This, of course, would change into another drill for our advanced players into step, double kick. We're not going to do that right now. We're going to focus on the most basic aspect. One more time. Step, round kick, into round kick. Oh! Hey! Hey! Very nice. Let's back it up one more time. Now he's going to bounce. We're going to practice the drill with the right type of energy. We're going to practice the drill as if we're fighting. His bottom foot's going to travel in as if he were really trying to cover some distance. Hey, hey. Good. That's the first target drill and the second target drill to refine these two kicks. Round kick into step round kick, step round kick into round kick. Okay. Now we're going on to kick and drill number three on the targets. Again, taking the same techniques, reviewing all the different techniques we know. We're going to use a round kick, skip back, and pot a chugging. I like this technique because it's actually practical. We use this a lot in competition. I'll attack. My opponent will be late and try to counter. I can skip out of the way of his counter and actually attack with a pot a chugging. Again, we're going to start slow. The athlete holds the target. Fighting stance. Attack! He's going to attack with round kick. Play! Push backwards and round kick. Play! Good. And I'd let them work about this slow because what I want them to focus on is a nice, deep attack. As soon as that foot is finished attacking, comes to the floor. He's got to lift his back foot, push off that front foot, punch back, hit the floor and come right back up. So the way to build this, I start slowly. I have them round kick come down quickly. Round kick. Hey hey. Then right there, push back quickly, pot hey hey Good. Once I feel comfortable that he has an understanding of this technique, he's got his balance, he's getting that front foot on the floor so he can travel backwards, I have them execute it in total and committed fashion. Here we go. Hey very nice. One more time. Balance. Very nice. Very nice. From there, we start to bounce a little bit. Okay, when we talk about the drill in the class portion, we'll talk about how to break this up into your class and make it work in your class format. Now we're going to reverse this. We're going to do pot a chuggy into round kick. So we have the athletes reset. We give them a little bit of distance. He's in fighting stance. First motion, he's going to step forward. He's going to skip back. Counter round kick or pot chuggy. Very nice. Attacking with a pot chuggy. Right. So if you break this down, really in essence what it is, it's skip back into round kicks. But you don't think about it like that because in reality what it is, is you're avoiding an attacking technique and then you're countering and attacking. So it's back, back. One more time. Skip back, pot chuggy. And a second one. Very nice. Now he's got the motion. We let him bounce. You get a little reactive in it. Very nice. Very nice. One more time. Here we go. Nice. Well executed. Nice balance. Ready to move on to our next combination. Now we're ready for our partner drills. We've done this in class number one, two. Now we're ready to do it in this class. In this class, we're going to work on a partner drill where we focus on the kicking techniques, building from the progression we've set up. Each technique flows into the other. The methodology flows into the other. We had air kicking. We had target kicking. We taught them the technique. We gave them a chance to practice it. 
Now we're going to give them a chance to execute it in the air safely without contact. Here we go, fighting stance. Ten. Hey. Step round kick, round kick. Very nice. Step round kick, round kick. Hey. Okay, just like we've done before. Now we're going to get them to bounce. Want a little bit more energy, a little bit quicker tempo, but the thing that matters is to step round kick, round kick. Not step, round kick, round kick. Motion. Bring up the intensity. Go! Ten! Ten! Go! Play! Play! Very nice. Go! Ten! Ten! Okay, now in that one, he cheated his stance a little bit. He cheated his step a little bit. So I would stop him at this point and say, listen, don't cheat the step. Don't not turn the shoulder. This, this is something we might do in competition, but for the purposes of training, I want a full shoulder turn because this serves as a deception. The second thing it does, though, is it enables me, if I make this step and he were to round kick as I step like this, I could trap and back kick. So it enables me to have at least two options on this step. So again, we want to try to make it a full step. So I'd restart them, fighting stance. Go! Kick! Good. Now we're ready to move on to the next drill. From here, we had round kick into pata chuggy. Now this kick works a lot of different ways. But for the purposes of this drill, we have a way that we would set up the body. But for our beginners, we're not going to change it. So basically, he's going to round kick. He's going to skip in. And he's going to skip back and round kick. Okay. Okay? In reality, the way this would work is he would be round kicking at me. Okay. And I try to counter here, and he would come here. Okay. Or he might round kick here. I would Ten. step back to counter, and then he Ten. would have his opportunity to counter me. So for purposes of consistency, when I was teaching, I would teach it like this. I would have this athlete step back as he was kicking. Ten. He would then re-enter, and he would counter kick. Ten. Now, I'm not adding a kick on this yet, just a step. But for my other athletes, I might add a kick. Here we go. So he's going to round kick. He's going to skip back or step back and then he's going to re-enter with his round kick counter. Here we go. Very nice. One more time. Good. From this position here, this athlete then would practice his drill. So first he would do round kick into pata chuggy, and he would do round kick into pata chuggy. So here we go. Round kick into pata chuggy. Very nice. Good. Now this drill, again, remember, it serves a very important purpose. So you can go very slowly in the beginning, but as they get the understanding of it, we want them reacting and not touching each other. Finally, we move on to the last drill of the series, which is pata chuggy into round kick. This happens a number of different ways in competition, but for the purposes of this drill, we're going to practice it like this. This athlete is going to step in. He's going to do round kick, round kick. Go. Okay. Okay. Very nice. One more time. Here we go. Go! Ten! Ten! Now, if these were advanced athletes, I might do it a little bit differently. I'd have him round kick. He would skip out of the way of the round kick and then do two round kicks. Go! One more time. Let's look at that one. Go! Now we're ready to build our class structure. Okay, now we're ready for our partner drill of round kick into step round kick. So we're going to initiate with round kick, follow with step round kick. So it's bong, bong, bong. Here we go. Fighting stance. Ten. So it's going to go slowly first. Round kick. Ten. Step round kick. Ten. The other athlete's going to follow him back. Round kick. Ten. Step round kick. Ten. Very nice. Now once they feel comfortable here, we'll have them go back and forth like we do in all our drills. Building the timing, building the place that they want to be, and then finally building the timing associated with the step back and the counter. Go! Ten! Ten! Play! Play! Good. One more time. Ten! Ten! Play! Play! Great. Now we're ready to move on to our next technique. Okay, here's your short format for class number three. We're going to walk through all the different things we're going to do. First, as always, we do our warm-up, and maybe we do a set of stretching and, and stepping drills. Then we move into the techniques that we're focusing on. So every class we start with the techniques that we're focusing on. We will be reviewing other techniques, 
but for the purposes of this class, the two techniques that we're working on are step round kick and pata chuggy or counter round kick. So for the first portion of the class, we'll have our students in a fighting stance. Hey, hey. We're going to walk them through it. This is going to be the first five minutes of class. We teach them the technique so they would learn how to do step round kick. Step round kick. Hey. Very nice. Switch your feet. Hey. Step round kick. Hey. Hey. This is time when you want to work with them a little bit to tell them what they're missing, what they need to do, reminding them how they should step off the floor, where their shoulders should be, how they should finish. Okay? So that's the first part. Then we back them up. We make it a little bit more dynamic now because we want to build that idea. Step round kick. Go! Hey! Switch! Go! Hey! We back them up. Good. Now we're going to keep them in the middle of the room for a moment. And the reason is that this next technique can be taught in one spot. Fighting stance. Hey! First, we work on the first concept. We remind them. Front leg pushes, rear leg lifts, picks a spot backwards, back to a balanced fighting stance, and round kick. Oh! Hey! Good. And we move that slow, wanting to remind them about that front leg again. The back foot is the initiator. The back foot is showing me what direction I want to go in. So if I want to go straight back, it points here, 45 degrees. Wherever I want to end up, I start with my rear foot. Go! Hey! Now we pick up the intensity. Motion. Go! Hey! Go! Hey! If I want to pre-frame them for the next part of the class, I'd let them just do free technique. So I might let them go, listen, those two techniques we're going to work on now. So I want you to do free technique. Step round kick, pot a chuggy, pot a chuggy, step round kick, however you feel like you need to do it. Go! Now we bring them back and we get ready to move to the next section of the class. This is about the first five to ten minutes of the class, but I like this ending because it starts to get them to think, to be creative. And at the end of the day, what we want are creative, intuitive fighters. We don't want machines that do only our method. We want them to take the tools we give them and create their own method. Now we're ready to move on to the target portion of the class. Now we're ready for the drills on the targets. This is the second portion of your class, kind of the meat and potato part. This is where they learn how to kick, the reason for the target, as you know, full execution of technique, speed, power, and aerobic conditioning. Beginning, we start slow. We walk them through it. So we go round kick, hey. step round kick. Hey. We back them up. Now this part where I have them walk, I'll have the athletes do it five to 10 times, and then I'll have the other athlete do it five to 10 times. So they would execute this portion over and over again, probably for five to 10 minutes, depending on the level of the class, the level of the athlete. Focusing the athlete again on the follow foot, traveling down the floor, and following with the second technique in a timely fashion. Go! Hey! Hey! Good. Once they're good with this portion of the class, we get both sides. Go! Hey! Hey! Good. Now they can alternate. You can do this in a line drill down the floor. You can do it in place just like this. This depends on the size of your facility or how it's structured. I'm not a big fan of line drills. I like to let them move around the floor freely. And the reason for that is that's what I want to see when they're sparring. I want them to develop a three-dimensional feel for the floor, not a single-dimensional feel. But for the purposes of organization and teaching, sometimes line drills like this are OK. Now we're moving on to our second drill. Step, round kick, round kick. Step, round kick, round kick. And I would walk it that slow. Step, round kick, round kick. Yeah. Very nice. We back it up. Step, round kick. Round kick. Yeah. And again, this could be another five minutes of the class in total. Now we're going to go to the third drill. This is going to be round kick into pata chuggy. So we set our athletes up. This is a drill that can happen in one place. So he goes round kick. Yeah. He pushes forward. Pata chuggy. Yeah. Nice execution. Watch the foot again. He attacks deep and he retreats deeply as well. Go. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Now we have him pick up the pace. Maybe he bounces a little bit. He gives him a reaction. This is a variation on the drill. He gives it to him. When he gives it to him, he goes. Very nice. Now he's building the real skills he needs to execute his technique in real time during a match. One more time. This works nicely for the next drill, which is the pot chuggy drill. Again, this is the one where he steps in, he retreats, and does two round kicks. Very nice. Now this, this portion of the class for me is a larger portion. The reason is I like the targets. They really condition the body. They condition the timing. And then finally, at this level of the class, 
is when I let them do just a small part as partner reactions. But let's try it one more time. It's going to be pot of chuggy into round kick. Now we're ready to go to the final portion of this class. Now we come to the other part of the class where we're building the skills again. I want to take the techniques that I've used in this class, but put them into a sparring format. So they're reaction drills with partners. This portion of the class can be the last 10 to 15 minutes. No contact, no danger, no harm, no foul. This is really just working on technique. So we're going to take every technique that we practice in the air and every technique that we practice on the targets and put them into this format. We're just going to add a reaction. So instead of just stepping now, we're going to add pot of chuggy. So the first technique is going to be round kick, step round kick. When he comes down, he's going to return pot of chuggy. So it's round kick. Step round kick. Pot of chuggy. Exactly. So now he's countering that final technique. He's practicing his attack. He's practicing his counter. Now he goes round kick, step round kick into pot of chuggy. Very nice. Now you'll notice that he switched his feet. That's OK. If they make a mistake, we just keep moving on. But we really want to work on that particular pot of chuggy. So when you're looking at this, you might correct that during the class. You say, not a step back kick, but a pot of chuggy. Literally switching back, it means exchanging kick in Korean. One more time, so we're going round kick, step round kick, pot of chuggy. Go! And it doesn't matter where the technique lands. The technique can land on the kidney side or on the stomach side. Because in our sport, you can get a point for either. Go! Good. Now we're moving on to the next one. This is going to be step round kick, round kick with a pot of chuggy answer, either to the kick to the stomach side or to the flank side. Go! Go! Very nice, very nice. These are both excellent attacking techniques and combinations. And then the counter possibility is also being practiced. So now we have both people practicing, not just the person who's attacking, but the person who's defending. Again, this can be a significant portion of your class. Partner drills number three and four will focus on the last techniques that we did on the targets and in the air. Be round kick attack, pot of chuggy counter. He's going to respond, though, with a round kick counter. So he attacks with his round kick, round kick counter, and then he counters that round kick. Fighting stance. Attack, attack. Very nice. Let's try it one more time. OK, again, they'll practice this over and over during the class time. And then we'll move on to the final one, which is pot of chuggy round kick attack. So what happens in this one, he initiates with a round kick. He skips out of the way, follows with two additional round kicks. Very nice. One more time. They let them reset. Good. Now again, all of these techniques are practiced one right after the other. You can tailor this part of the class to your student level or the thing that you're trying to focus on. So you don't have to do everything that we did in class number three. You can pick and choose, but allocate your time appropriately. Now we're ready to move on to class number four. OK, class number four. Now we're working on a lot of techniques that we've already worked on. I'm just going to review one or two new ones. So we have a skip forward and a skip backwards. And again, we also know our step forward and our step backwards. We're not adding any additional kicks, so we'll be able to work just on this. So the idea now is we have skip forward, step forward, skip backwards, step backwards. We have round kick, fast kick. We have up ball and pot of chuggy. So these are the remaining kicks for the remainder of the classes. So now what we're going to do is give you the total class structure. We'll focus from time to time on an aspect of the class, but for the most part, we're going to give you just the class structure. So as part of our warm up, this is going to be our next series of step drills. This is the first part of class number four. This is how you're going to structure it. You can step for roughly five minutes or so, five to 10 minutes. And of course, this is after your warm up. So this puts you somewhere about 15 minutes into the class. We start with this first drill. We're going to skip forward and skip backwards. Now I like to do these dynamically. We're going to, we've already worked on how we do the kicks and how we do the steps. So now at this point, I get them bouncing. And I'll go skip forward, 
skip backwards. Switch. Hit. Skip forward. Skip backwards. Switch. Hit. Okay, now we take that, we bump it up to skip forward, skip backwards. Hey. Hey. Switch. Hey. Hey. Good. Now this portion of the class, again, takes a certain period of time, but we're going to have a lot of different drills. Now we do the reverse. Skip backwards. Skip forward. Skip forward. Skip backwards. So when I say one, they're going to go back and forth. Then I say two, they go forward and back. One, three, two, three. motion. So that's the second portion of the same period of time, same five to ten minutes. Then I say one, they do all four motions. They go tang tang, tang tang. They go backwards, forwards, forwards, backwards. Hey, hey, hey. Good. And they can even do it with a little bit of free motion, because this is not something you would necessarily do, but we're working on this idea of tang tang, tang tang. So they can go tang, tang tang, tang tang. They can vary the rhythm. So free motion, but these two to four techniques. Hey, 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 hey. Good. Now we're going to add the additional things that we do. We're going to step forward, skip forward, skip backwards, step backwards. Okay, step forward, skip forward, skip backwards, step backwards. Then I give them a little free motion here as well. Go! Okay, switch your feet. Okay, at this point I would give them a small break and then I'd move on to the next section of my stepping drills. Second set of stepping drills for the same portion of the class. We're going to add a step forward, skip forward, a step backwards, skip backwards. Now if you need more review of how to do each of these steps, go back to the instructional portion of the tape, but for the purposes of the class, we're going to break it down like this. So we go step forward, skip forward, Ayo! Hey! and the reverse. Ayo! Hey! Now we add the dynamic portion, dynamic, I count once, they go twice, then I count again, they go back. Ayo! I count once, they go four times. Switch! Then I let them do the same idea, free motion. Free motion. Go! And stop. Okay, now we're ready to move into our target drills and our kicking drills for class number four. Second section of class number four. We've done our warm-up, we've done our stepping drills, the body should be nice and warm now. Now we're ready to take them and make them combinations, make them work with each other. So remember, building off what came before, we've done it in the air, now we're doing it with a kick. So we're going to go skip forward, skip backwards, round kick. Hey! Building that idea, they're trying to entice the opponent to attack, they entice them, they move out of the way, and they count to kick. Skip forward, skip backwards, round kick. Now you notice in this drill they'll be able to practice both sides. So we go skip forward, skip backwards, round kick. Hey! Skip backwards, skip forwards, round kick. Hey! Okay, let's back them up. So again, when you're teaching this, you can go slowly. I would start like this, skip forward, skip backwards. Watching their body position, reminding them that foot's got to push up to come up, round kick. Hey! Now they do the converse. They skip backwards, skip forward, round kick. Hey! We're getting their minds to move multi-directional. Now they're thinking, I can attack, I can defend, I can use them in any combination. I can skip forward, skip backwards, I can skip backwards, skip forwards. I can entice my opponent, I can exploit my opponent's ability to be pre-framed to do a counter, make them miss and attack. I can also cover more distance. So let's back them up again. I say one, they're going to skip forward, skip backwards, round kick. One! Bam! I say two, they're going to do the converse, back forwards kick. Hello! Good. Now I'm going to say one, they're going to do both series of techniques. They're going to go in, out, kick, out, in, kick. One! One! Ten! Ten! One! Ten! 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 Now we're ready to move on to the next side of kicking. Now we're ready to let them do it with their own motions. They're going to do the same techniques, but I want them to get free in their thought, in their mind. You want them imagining that they're in a competition. So have them visualize a competition, 
have them visualize themselves in front of an opponent they want to compete against, and then in their mind, have them see this technique being effective as they're executing it. Because then we're building the right mind frame for the Torch Club program students. I don't Now we're ready to move on to the final section of the class. Next skill set. Still in that same idea. We're doing the step drills and the kicks in the air. Now we're going to do step forward, skip forward, round kick. kick. Nice attacking technique. Then it's going to be skip forward, step forward, round kick. kick. OK, let's back it up. Now with a little bit of intensity, I'm going to count the one. They go step forward, skip forward, round kick. Go! Wow. And I have them back up a little bit. Now they go to the second one. Skip step round kick. Wow. So again, here's an additional drill you can add during this section. So you had the first series of drills, we matched. Here's the second. All we've done is take those two techniques in the middle and flip them. So we flip the step with the skip and the skip with the step. Now we're moving on to the next drill. This is going to be step backwards, skip backwards, round kick. Wow. That's the first drill in the second series. And then it's going to be skip backwards, step backwards, round kick. Hey! Again, not absolutely realistic, but it does occur when you're fighting. The idea, though, is that we're building the step. We're building the idea that they can round kick at the end of a step, plus they're creating an understanding of distance. So again, we've got step backwards, skip backwards, round kick. Hey! Then we reset a little bit. Now we're going to do the converse. Go! Two! Very nice. Now between this six series of different drills in this section of the class, gives you a lot of time, a lot of skills. Also builds the conditioning and the muscles that we're trying to build for the stepping and the kicking. Also builds a sort of distance awareness that they'll be able to utilize later in the various parts of the DVDs that we have to show you. Now we're going to the drill series with the partners. So we've done the kicks in the air. Rather than go to targets, I want to do some reaction drills in this class. We're going to change it up for the students a little bit. So now we're going to use that same series of steps that we use during our step drills. And we're going to do them with reactions. He's going to entice his partner by skipping in. His partner's then going to counter kick. He's then going to skip back and counter kick. OK, so it's the same exact kicking drill. The only difference is we've inserted a partner who's now practicing his counterattack. He's also having to respond to a counter kick. So let's try it again. He's going to tease him, come out, Wait. and Wait. round kick. Now, the problems that he may have during this drill is switch up again. He may, when he skips in, he may get stuck there. Then, of course, he's going to get kicked before he can move. So it's going to force him to push forward and push back. So as he pushes in, he's got to immediately push back. So push in, push back. Here we go. And he can actually start from this side. He just skips back a little, gives him a little distance. Go! That's the way that I would teach this during this portion of the class. And then, of course, I would give them some time to practice it and refine it. I would then move on to the second one, which is the reverse. He's going to skip back, causing him to come forward. Then he's going to skip in and follow him with round kick. So when he skips in, he may think that he has an opportunity. He can either kick or step. Then he's going to chase him and follow with a scoring round kick. So he's going to skip back. He comes in. He skips in and oh, yeah. round kicks. When he realizes that he's made a mistake if this was actual sparring, he would take that step and then try to escape. That's what the purpose of this technique is. But at this level, we're just trying to teach them that reaction and also that attacking time. So he's going to withdraw, enter, and kick. Go! Hey. Excellent. That's exactly the way that we want to do it. That's the reaction that we want. One more time. Go! Hey! Boom! Then from this position, it doesn't matter where their bodies are. They just adjust their distance. It's his turn now. He'll go skip back, skipping, and round kick. And he'll do the reaction in between those two. Go! Play! Very nice. Very nice. Again, matching the motion, understanding what the attacks look like. One more time. Very nice. Now we're going to move on to our next series of partner drills. Drill number three. Now we're going to do that same series we did in the air, practiced already. He's going to step, skip, and round kick. However, the partner's just going to move out of the way, 
try to understand what's happening on the attack, and build the memory so that in the future he'll be able to counter. So it's step, skip, kick. Hey! Very nice. Now they're going to move. The other gentleman goes the other way. Go! Hey! And at this point, I think I'm comfortable enough during this class that I'm going to allow them to do this back and forth at their own pace. Don't necessarily need to count it out for them. Then walk around the room. Help them with the different parts that they're going to be having problems with. So make sure that the step and the skip function well and they flow right into the round kick. So watch their feet. Watch how they're punching off the floor. This is kind of an easier technique because it's all traveling forward. Go! Hey! Go! Go! Hey! Go! Hey! Okay, now we're going to have them flip it. All we're going to do is change those things. So instead of a step first, it's going to be a skip, a step, and a round kick. Changing the look of it. A skip, a step, and a round kick. Ready? Go! Hey! Very nice. Go! Again, they're both looking for opportunities to kick. They're both working on their feet, traveling on the floor. Bodies are balanced. Everything keeps close to the floor. One more time. Go! Play! Go! Foul! Go! Play! One more time. Go! Foul! OK, at this point, we're about halfway through the class. Now you can change these drills, make them fit your structure. But for the most part, this is going to be a lion's share of the class, probably in the middle, bringing their body up to a certain place, bringing their aerobic conditioning up, their anaerobic conditioning is going to come up, and then we're ready to move into the next phase of our training. Next series of partner drills. Now we're working on our defensive motion. It's going to skip backwards, step backwards, answer with a round kick. As part of this drill, we're going to let him attack somewhere after the first technique or before the first technique. So he's going to either skip forward and kick, or just kick, or skip forward. The choice is yours. But what we want to build is in this athlete, the ability to back, back, and return. So he's going to skip, step, and return. He's going to kick somewhere before that. Very nice. Now we're going to have him go the other way. Go! Very nice. Now again, what we're going to focus on, for me, if I were teaching an advanced athlete, that counter might have been a little bit late. Have him try to answer just a little bit sooner. So as soon as that foot touches the floor, it bounces back off the floor and hits the target before the athlete who's advancing forward can recover. So one more time, we're going to go skip backwards, step backwards, and round kick. Go! Hey, hey. Nice reaction, nice reaction timing. Go! Hey. Very nice, nice reaction. Now we're going to flip the switch again. So he's going to step backwards, skip backwards, round kick. Hey. And then the other athlete, step backwards, skip backwards, round kick. Hey. Now, it doesn't matter as much as what this person does. They can either skip or step or kick up to them. He's still going to focus on the stepping, the skipping, and the countering. Remembering, again, the step back, pushing back with the foot that's retreating, pushing back with the foot that's touching, coming back up. And these are the final drills in this series of this portion of the class. Again, entire portion of the class may be 10 to 15 minutes, so you have to move quickly. You have six different drills to fit in there but it'll keep your students flowing, they won't get bored, and it's disguising the repetition of the different techniques that we're trying to do. So one more time, going, go! Play, ball! Go! Play! Very nice. Now we move on to the final portion of the class. You have the entire class four now. We're ready to move to class five. But remember, each structural component is important. You need to review the material from class one, two, three, and four and you need to integrate them in your class. If at the end of this class you find that you didn't have enough time to do all the drills, that's OK. Push these drills to another class. You don't have to follow the class format. It's a suggested format based upon your level of your students in this particular program. So don't be afraid to do a specific portion a little bit longer or shorter. What is important are the nature of the drills, how you integrate them, and that you follow the progression. You can change some of them but always follow the progression. This way, when you get to class five, you'll have all the information you need. <laughs> class number five, new format, new method of teaching. We're going to take information from the first four classes, combine it. So this is the way that you build in your students the skills. You teach them information piecemeal. We put those pieces together into combinations. Then we take the combinations 
and we put them together because we want our students to be multi-directional thinkers. Don't teach this program in pieces. We want the pieces to make sense. They are interdependent. We want them to interlock. This way they gain a total 360 degree view of the technical strategy that we're presenting them with. So we're going to take the combinations. Now we're going to put them together. We have fighting stance. Hey. The first combination we did was round kick, round kick. So rather than practice this over and over again, we're now going to change it up. They go fast kick, round kick. Then they back up. So the first portion of the class, we're going to start just like this in the air. We've done our warm up. Maybe we've done a little bit of stepping drills. Then we go right into this. About 15 minutes into the class, we should already be into this. So the purpose of it is not to combine all four kicks, but to combine both combinations. So the rhythm is bong, 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 not bong, 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 bong. So keep them separated. There's a pause between the first two. And in fact, when you start it, you count it just like this. The first combination, one, two. Now they're learning. There are different ways that they can do this. They can do it as one piece. They can do it together. They can also change their attack. So regardless of what side they're on, they can choose to attack with the front leg or rear leg first. Let's back it up. So here's how I would do it in this particular level class. I would count once, let them do the four techniques with the pause in the middle, come back, switch their feet, and then we'd execute it on the other side. One. And have them back up. They switch their feet, start on the other side. Two. Good. And back it up. Now, depending upon the size of your space, you might do it exactly like that, or you might have them flip the side and just go in the other direction. But again, this is the first part of this series of kicking in the air. Second combination in air kicking. We did our first combination. Now we're going to our second combination. We've just flipped it a little bit. We're going to go round kick, fast kick, round kick, round kick. A little bit of a pause, same energy. Here we go. Round kick, fast kick. Fast kick. Round kick, round kick. Fast kick. OK, let's back it up. Now that they've got that, they've got that first series of techniques, right? We had round kick, round kick, fast kick, round kick. Now we've just changed the dynamic a little bit. We want them thinking differently, understanding they don't have to kick off opposing legs. We've introduced the concept of kicking off the same leg twice. OK, here we go. It's going to be round kick, fast kick, into round kick, round kick. And now we go from the other side. Back it up. Now, once they've got these two sets of combinations, we're going to go to that last combination. So we back them up. Now they're going to that idea again. They're going to go round kick into pot chuggy pot chuggy into round kick. So it's round kick, pot chuggy pot chuggy round kick. It's a nice drill, because when they go forward, they're forced to go backwards. Then they go backwards, and they're forced to go forwards. So kind of breaks it up a little bit, forces them to think. During this portion of the class, I like this as a warm up. So it's round kick, pot chuggy. Pot chuggy, round kick. They're going to do all four kicks, one count. Go! Go! Good. Now, that would, for me, finish this portion of the class. Because it's the air portion, getting their heart going, getting them to think about the technique, but also getting them to combine the technique into multi-directional combinations. Now we're ready to move on to the next portion of this class. Like we do with everything else, time to progress. So we've done them in the air, now it's time to do them in the targets. So you're about 20 minutes into your class. This portion could be another 10, 10, 15 minutes, depending upon what you're going to do next. We've got a lot to cover today, though, so it's going to, the choice is going to be yours. We're going to go round kick, round kick. He comes down, fast kick, round kick. Go! Kick, kick! Kick, kick! Very nice. We back him up, do it again. Maybe at this point, I'd have the students change targets. The other person would go. Depends whether I'm traveling the length of the floor or not. But this is the technique that matters. It's going to be round kick, round kick, pause, fast kick, round kick. Go! Kick! Good. Now at this point, I might add a little bit of a reaction. So he's going to wait for him to give him the target, and then he would go. So we'll back him up again. Now when he sees the target, he begins all four kicks. 
good. Very nice. Now we're ready to move on to the next series of techniques. Round kick, fast kick, round kick, round kick. So we'll back the athletes up again. So he's in our second combination series, right? Two combinations to each series. Round kick, fast kick. Bang, bang. Round kick, round kick. Bang, bang. And you notice the holder is watching, mirroring the motion as best as he can. Come on back, let's try it again. Going to pick up the intensity now, once he has the technique. So it's round kick, fast kick. Round kick, round kick. Go! Bang, 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 bang. Very nice. Once they have this, they've practiced a series of two combinations. Both combinations have two combinations in them. We're ready to move on to the last one. That would be round kick, pot chuggy Round kick, pot chuggy So here we go. So again, we'll start slow. This one's a little more difficult. It's got a lot of change in direction. He goes round kick. Pot chuggy He skips in. Pot chuggy Round kick. Very nice. We're going to do it in a series of four now. Series of four techniques are coming up. Ready. Go! You can see this one takes a lot of energy. So this is probably the last one you want to do in this particular series of the drills. You want to give them a little time to recover. Take their time on this. This is going to be hard for them. Let them breathe a little bit, and then we move on to the next series. So now we're going to the partner series, where we actually do a little bit of reaction time along with this. Now we're moving to our partner reaction drills. Again, still building their reaction, still building their ability to move backwards, but we're going to add a counter phase. I'd like to add the counter phase at this part because I want the attacker to be wary, knowing that when he finishes his attack, he can possibly get countered. I also want the person who's retreating to learn how to retreat and counter effectively. So we're going to slow it down so I can show you how it works, then we'll build it into the drill. We have a round kick, round kick attack. Kick. He counters with round kick. Break. He is then followed by fast kick, round kick attack. And he counters with round kick. Now this is going to build a little bit of reaction time. We need a little bit of a pause, giving them a chance to readjust their distance. And then they can learn this. This is how you build those partner skills. Let them go slowly. Let them work back and forth. And then you just walk around and correct the different mistakes you may see. OK? So here we go again. It's going to be four kicks on this side, two kicks on this side. Then he switches. He goes. And he responds. So it's bong, bong, counter, bong, bong, counter, bong, bong, counter, bong, bong, counter. Go! Now we're moving on to the second series of combinations, which were round kick, fast kick, round kick, round kick. And at the end of each second technique, he's going to offer a counter. So he can counter with his rear leg. Here we go. Now the other side goes. Very nice. Once they become comfortable with this, we allow them to do it at free form at their own pace. Go! Now they're ready to move on to the final drill. Out of most of the techniques we're doing today, Combination-wise, this one's going to be the most difficult. It takes a little bit of different timing. He's got a counter after the first kick in the first series, and then he initiates on the second combination. So let's slowly go through it, and then we'll go through it. He goes round kick. He counters. He counters. Yeah. Now, in order for him to go, he has to initiate, because he's going to do skip back, pot chuggy round kick. Initiate. Counter. Yeah. And a second. Yeah. Good. So this one may take a little bit more time during the instruction phase, but during the practice phase, let them work it out. They're going to need a little bit of time to get the rhythm because it's one, one, two, and then it's one, one, two. One, one, two, one, one, two. Okay? So let's go. First one, I'll count. It's going to be round kick, potachegi. Round kick in between. Go! What's up? Very nice timing. Now the second one, he initiates. Go! Very nice. Now this one again, it's the last series of partner drills to build that timing in class number five. Class number five is finished now. 
Now it's a lot of energy, a lot of kicking. Now the content, we drew back the content just a touch because I want you to focus on the techniques and the steps. So we had a lot of kicking, a lot of steps, but really a lot of concepts. They were moving forwards, they were moving backwards, the attacker was defending, sometimes the defender was attacking, so you really have to take a little bit of time and structure to bring it through. Remember, if you're doing two classes a week in the Torch Club program, this is roughly two and a half weeks of content, so it's still a lot of content. You may want to integrate this into your other classes so that by the time they get into the Torch Club class, they understand it and they're able to execute it. But the focus point of this technique should be in your Torch Club program. These are the athletes that you're aiming for the Olympic podium. And if they keep working at this level, they'll be able to achieve their dream. Now we're ready to move on to class number six. Class number six. Class number six, again, we're going to combine some information from the other classes, but this is the first portion is going to be our stepping portion, combining four steps. So remember, we worked on skip and step forward, skip and step backwards. So first motion is fighting stance. Hey. It's going to be skip forward, skip backwards, skip backwards, skip forwards. Okay, so for this first portion of this warm-up, after we've done everything, just like every other class, we're going to start with this, four motions. You're going to go one, two, three, four. Ready, four motions, one count. Switch! Very nice. Now this, you don't have to spend a lot of time on. Again, it's just teaching them some motion. It's a way to warm up and get to the next level. Now we have step in, step out. Step out, step in. Good. So we're stepping forward, stepping backwards, stepping backwards, stepping forwards. Ready. Now we're going to add different stepping techniques in this next section. Okay, next series of steps. We're going to step forward and skip forward. Then skip forward and step forward. Okay, so again, we're just flipping the steps. We're putting them together. Two combinations of step. We got a step and a skip and a skip and a step. Let's back it up. Like the other drill, we're going to do it with four. So, step and skip, skip and step. Back it up. Switch our feet. Let's go on the other side. Ready? Very nice. Back it up. One last time. So again, this is the second series of drills that we would incorporate into that portion of the class. Now we're going to do the reverse on the backward step. So we go back step, skip back, skip back, back step. Okay? Now if we wanted to add this, we could add one last little thing just to practice our steps. We could do the attack version first and the defending version second. So we would go step forward, skip forward, skip forward, step forward, step back, Skip back, skip back, step back. So now, here's the last advanced drill on this particular combination. We could do all eight in a row. So we would do one, they would do all the attacks forward, two, all of them back. So it's step, skip, skip, step, step, skip, skip, step. Forward, and then all the way back. Here are the first four, forward. Here are the second. Very nice. Now I'll give them one count. If you'd like, they can do the entire eight in your class. Go! Now we're ready to put together the kicking combinations that the steps go with. After that first 10 minutes of class, or five minutes of class, whatever you decide to dedicate towards your stepping drills, now we want to get to the meat. We're going to add a kick. So now we're going to practice those same steps, but we're going to add a kick at the end. So, we're going to skip forward, skip backwards, round kick, hey. skip backwards, skip forwards, round kick. Hey. So all we've done is combine those two different combinations of steps and kicks together so that the athlete now is practicing multi-directional, also he's thinking differently. He's attacking, withdrawing, kicking, withdrawing, attacking, kicking. Here we go, one count, 
all four techniques. Go! Go! Very nice. Now we back them up. Again, this is just one portion of this section of the class. This is the first series. Second series, step forward. Skip forward. Round kick. Skip forward. Step round kick. Changing the look and the feel of it, we back them up. So it is step forward first, skip forward second with a round kick. Then we switch it up with the skip, step, round kick. One count all the way through the end. Ready, go! Ready. Ready. Very nice, bring them back. So, very dynamic attack, doing them one right after the other requires a little bit of space, but more importantly, make certain that they're taking the time to work through each step and each kick. Step should be a step, the skip should be a skip, and the kick should be a kick. Go! Very nice. We're going to keep them there because now we're going to move to the next series. That's the backward series. They're going to step back, skip back, round kick. Ten. That occurs a lot during sparring. There's a lot of this when you're sparring, a lot of retreating and then finally countering. Now we're going to pick up the intensity. So now we understand the motion backwards, we're going to do them both. So we got step back, skip back, round kick, go! Ten. Now the reverse, go! Now we're going to have them do the attack just like we did on the steps and then with the withdraw. So we're going to do all four techniques forward, then all four backwards. Let them take their time until they get the rhythm. You can either walk them through it or you can make them go quickly. But let's walk them through it, okay? Here we go. We got the step, the skip, and the kick. Hey. The skip, the step, and the kick. Hey. Hey. Then from here, we have the step, the skip, the kick, the skip, the step, the kick. Okay, let's back it up. You're gonna go for a little distance now, all the way down, all the way back. This would be the final phase of this section of the class in the air, combining the kicks and the steps. Go! Very nice. Now we're ready to move on to the next section of this particular class. Here's our partner drill for this particular class. We're going to start out with a similar one that we've done in other classes, but it's important sometimes to repeat the material. So fighting stands. Jay! Okay. Athlete is going to give them a motion. He kicks on the motion, skips back, and kicks. So it's a skip forward, skip backwards, and kick. Skip forward. Two. He kicks, Three. he skips backwards, Ten. and kicks. So that's an important combination. Then he sets up a little bit. He kicks, he skips backwards, skips forwards, and kicks. Ten. So two different sets of combinations, but the purpose is the same. So it's a little bit of a different time, and we've talked about this before, but it's time to practice it at the beginning of this class because it's refreshing their memory and building skills that we need. So let's back it up. Okay, so now we're ready to try it again. He's going to skip forward, kick, Kick, skip backwards, kick, kick. Go! Hey, kick! Hey, kick! Very nice, very nice. So, once they have this skill, we can move on to the next one. This timing is a little bit difficult, but the actual application of the skips in this step, rather easy. Here are your drills for the next series of our partner drills for reaction and timing. Taking those same skips and steps and then putting them together in a series of two exchanges using different steps and skips and combinations. So fighting stance. Okay. So you'll recognize this from the other classes we've done and so should your students. Again, we're building our progressive method, reinforcing it by using it in different situations. He's gonna step forward, skip forward, and round kick. Okay. He's gonna follow this with a skip forward, step round kick. Different combination, timing is a little bit different. They give himself a little bit of distance. Here goes the other side. It's going to step forward, skip forward, round kick, Bang. followed by a skip, a step, and a round kick. Bang. Very nice. Once they feel comfortable, once they have their rhythm, we're going to let them go down the floor at their own pace. When he gets to the end, obviously the other person attacks. Here we go. Go! Kick! Kick! 
Again, this kicking is done in the air. The reason we don't want any contact, we want to build belief and confidence. So now he's thinking about how he's kicking. He's thinking about how he's retreating. No counter, so no fear. Ready to move on to the next combination. Now we're doing our last stepping series with our last kicking series for this class. He's going to kick, he's going to step back, skip back, and round us kick. He keeps coming forward, he steps, skips, and then answers with his final counter. So he steps, skips, and rounds hey! his counter. Good. Now, wherever the attack comes is where the attack comes. So if he wants to skip an attack, step and step an attack, whatever it is, it's okay. I'm not as concerned about this, but I want him to be practicing good counter technique with good stepping technique. Now he does his second exchange, and that will be skip back, step back, round kick. Hey! So again, these are going to be practiced two in a row, and then the other athlete goes. Step back, skip back, and counter. One. Ten. Very nice. Then he does the second series. Two. Three. Ten. Very nice. Now one final version of mixing these two things together would be to have them do the attack phase and then the defense phase at the same time. So this athlete would attack with a step, a skip, and an attack and then he would counter with the converse moving backwards. So let's go slowly, show you how it works. He's going to step forward, Check. skip forward, Check. attack. Hey. Then he would draw this athlete in by stepping backwards, Check. skipping backwards, Check. and countering. Check. Very nice. He could do that same thing with the second series, but again, this is up to you. This class is chock full of techniques and combinations, and as you structure it, you want to take the right amount of time to build the foundation in the beginning. So we'll do all those steps first, then we'll do the kicking in the air, but this is the meat and potato of the class. Now we're ready to move on to class number seven. Class number seven, we're in our final week of a four-week cycle. So we're in the end of our first month of training if you're doing two classes a week. Good news is we're ready to introduce the chest protectors. And this is the end of what we do. At the end of the day, everything we do leads up to the chest protector. We love hitting the chest protector. So we're going to start getting them used to wearing the chest protector first and then hitting the chest protector second. Because for us in the TORCH program, it all ends with one nice big sound on the chest protector, which results in a point. A point results in you winning a match and then hopefully reaching your goals in the program. So let's start. Fighting stance. Fight. Yeah. Now they're going to work on two combinations. Combination number one is going to be a review. It's round kick, round kick. Hey. 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 Very nice. This is going to be followed with, they back up just a touch. Now we have them do the second combination, which is step, round kick, round kick. Go! Ten, ten, ten. Very nice. Let's back up. Here we go again. So we get them nice and deep in the room. Round kick, round kick, go! Ten, ten. Back them up, back them up. Here's where they learn how to attack with distance. Step, round kick, round kick, go! Ten, ten. Very nice. Now we still have them in that fighting mind. They come on back, back them up, back them up. Now they're on the other side. We're going to start with that left foot back. Round kick, round kick, go! Ten, ten. Back them up, back them up. Now, step, round kick, round kick, go! Good, back it up, back it up. Okay, let's give them a rest minute. Let's talk about this now. Chest protector adds another dynamic to it. A little harder to breathe, a little harder to move. They gotta get used to wearing it. So for us, in the torch program, we wear the chest protector as much as we can. We refine the technique without it, spend some time teaching the technique, but ultimately it does change the way that you move. So you have to get used to wearing it. So we get a chest protector on them. We don't need the arm guards and shin guards at this point, but we want them working this entire class in the chest protector. So make sure they drink enough water, make sure you give them enough rest period to get ready for the activities that we're going to do, and then we're gonna move on to the next phase of this class. Here's an additional drill that I like to do during the chest protector phase where we're kicking in the air. It takes a lot of conditioning. We're gonna use it later. 
It's step, round kick, round kick continuously. Step, round kick, round kick continuously. Now I have them do this to the length of the gym. When they get to the end of the gym, they run back, get into the back of the line, and start it over. This entire drill probably takes about two or three minutes. So we're just gonna show you an example of it. But let them go, let them get their heart rate up, let them learn how to do the follow foot and go continuous, continuous. So it's step, round kick, round kick, step, round kick, round kick. Ready, go! Hey, hey! Go! Good. Now at this point, I'm going to have them stop the break in between. So they're going to go step round, kick, round, kick, step round, kick, round, kick, step round, kick, round, kick, continuous with no break in between. Ready, go! 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 So as you can see, this will really get their heart rate up. It's really going to make their muscles work. And it's going to get them ready for the next portion of the class, which involves some contact. So let's move on to the contact on the targets. OK, now we're ready. We're in our chest protectors. Next phase of this class. Now we're going to do some target work. Again, chest protector is going to help condition our body for what's going to happen. We've changed our body dynamic, but we're going to learn how to work in chest protectors. Target's going to give us a place to focus, so we learn how to kick with the chest protector, building that skill, and then more importantly, we're going to build our anaerobic conditioning. So fighting stance. Yeah. First technique we're going to pause on. So we've got two kicks, basic kicking, round kick, round kick, pause. Second combination, step round kick, round kick, pause. So first series, one. Yeah. Yeah. Second series is going to have to Move back a little bit because it's a little extra distance. Two. Hey, hey. And then we have the athletes either move back, adjust themselves again. They're just going to continuously work on this technique. Here we go. One. Hey, hey. Two. Hey, hey. Good. Now, when they get comfortable with it, we want it to be a little bit more dynamic in nature. So he's going to go bong, bong. Come down right away. Bong, bong. Here we go. Go. Hey, 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 hey. Very nice. That's what we're looking for when it ultimately gets to the place where he's conditioning his body. Bring it back. Second technique in this series. We're only going to work on two sets. Second one is step, round kick, round kick, followed by a step, round kick, round kick. So it's a little bit deeper, takes a little more distance. Make sure you adjust accordingly. Go. Good. One more time. Here we go. Go. And because of the nature of this technique, I might let the athlete switch off at the end of the room. So rather than have one athlete go for two or three minutes, that takes time to condition like that, let them do a series, switch paddles, and the other one goes back the other way. OK, let's try it one more time. No break in between the two techniques now. So it's round kick, step round kick, round kick, step round kick, round kick, till you run out of room, and then the other side goes. Go! Very nice. Remember. Targets are just a preparation for the ultimate goal, which is hitting the chest protector. Let's move on to the next series of drills. Next series of drills, first time learning how to hit the chest protector. A couple of notes about hitting the chest protector. The chest protector does protect, but it also hurts. So we want them to start just a little bit easier I'm more concerned about the shape of the foot on the chest protector than I am about the amount of impact or speed. So we don't want them to take the speed off the technique so they're going slow hitting the chest protector. We still want it to be quick, just making a nice sound. The athlete that's getting hit is tensing their stomach muscle and breathing out a little bit. Now, if the athlete is younger or can't take a nice impact to the body, then you can get a second chest protector, put it on top of this one, or you can have the athlete grab the chest protector and pull it away from their body a little bit. The goal of this, to remember, is that the foot is going to shape a certain way, and you'll be able to tell because you'll hear it hit the chest protector, it'll sound like a slap. So you want a big portion of the foot on it, making a nice sound, and following the technique. The second reason is there is nothing like hitting a body to learn how to hit a body. 
You can do all the training you want on targets or on shields, but at the end of the day, you need a body because the body is shaped differently. In addition to that, the body moves differently. People's bodies shift, and you have to learn how to make your foot shift. Just like when you walk on uneven ground, your foot automatically shifts. It has to learn how to shift with motion as the person you're fighting is moving. Okay, enough said. Here we go to the drill itself, fighting stance. Hey, it's hey! Just like we did in the air, just like we did on the targets, we're now going to move to the round kick on the chest protector. So he first has to absorb the kick. So the first kick goes round kick. Hey! Second kick, round kick. Hey! So he takes the hit and then he moves back. One more time. Round kick, he gets hit. Hey! Round kick, he gets hit. Hey! Okay? Now, from here, he's gonna skip backwards because the next technique is a step round kick. Step round kick. Hey! And then he switches round kick. Hey! Now, in the beginning, it'll be hard for your athletes to have to remember what's coming, but this is good for them. They have to actively participate and know where they are. They know that the foot has to come from the back to the stomach, so this is called open stance. When your body is facing the same position, when you're facing opposite positions, this is called closed stance. So this technique occurs in open stance for round kick. For step round kick, we start in a closed stance position. So they step forward and then hit the stomach. Let's start over. Now we're gonna try to put them together, but they're gonna move at their own pace because we don't want any injuries or damage. Plus, he's gotta get used to getting hit. In fact, he can key up when he's being hit.